Welcome to another video. Now, today I wanted to share my number one piece of advice for personal trainers and online coaches. And before I do, if you're new to the channel, my name is Mark Coles and I help fitness professionals to take their passion and purpose and build a successful business. For the last 22 years, I've been a coach. And for the last 15 years, I've helped coaches build successful businesses. And then once the successful business is built, I then teach you how to scale that business to 25K months and beyond. So I think I'm pretty well qualified to be able to teach you and share with you my number one strategy to actually help you become more of a successful coach. And that is, you must build a portfolio of results. I come across personal trainers and online coaches way too often, have been in the industry, especially personal trainers, one, three, five years, and don't have results to show. Online coaches trying to ask me consistently, what is the number one tactic and strategy to get clients online? And my advice very often is, how much work are you doing to build a portfolio of results? Now, you could ask me right now to present to you a set of results, a portfolio of results that I have for myself. And my list is endless. I was coaching for 15 years. I've got results that were in Muscle & Fitness, Flex Magazine, myself was in there. I've had results in Men's Health, GQ, published all over the internet, on websites, then a lot of articles on the work that I've done, but also transformations of clients that I've helped for years and years and years. So I could take everything as social proof and set up shop wherever I am. I could build a new social media platform today and market my results, but I spent time building my results. Now, I always say to coaches, the less results you have, very often you have to do a lot of work to get them. And that means very often, in some cases, training a handful of clients for free to show them what you can do in exchange for presenting those results within your portfolio. And it's not a lot to ask for a client if you can get them to go through a whole transformation journey or a weight loss journey and do a testimonial video or do a transformation and have a before and after photo if you're actually going to be able to have social proof to get that done. So many coaches have got low self-confidence, self-doubt, because you're trying to sell something every single day that you have zero social proof for. And to lower your expectations, it's expected for people not to want to sign up with you. And considering how many online coaches there are, considering how many personal trainers are in your gym, if the personal trainer in your gym has got clients walking through the door that look great, and you've got colleagues that have got online coaching platforms, social media through Instagram or Facebook, and you go on their page and they have results, and you're struggling because we haven't seen a result for 10, 12, eight weeks. So it might come across as the simplest piece of advice, but nowadays not enough people are talking about it. They're talking about strategies and tactics to how to get a client, how to get somebody. Well, if you wanna work with the right clients, they're gonna come on board with you because of the work that you've done, because of the reputation that you have, and because of the skills, the knowledge, and the expertise that you have. And if that means, that it's gonna take a little bit of time for you to get ahead while you're focusing on getting results, then that'll be the case. Now, if you're at the position right now where you don't know how to get great results, you know that your knowledge, your skill, and your expertise as a coach is the thing that's holding you back, then we can help. All you need to do is to go to the comment section, the description below, Click on m10life.com, go to our Fit Pro quiz, and we'll guide you to the relevant level of education where we can help you to build your portfolio of results. Now, if you'd like to see any other topics covered inside my channel, then make sure you go to the comments, leave a comment for me below. And if you've enjoyed today's episode, please make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.